welcome and thank you for your interest in the EMBO postdoctoral fellowship program. So the EMBO fellowships are globally very prestigious and they are awarded based on the excellence in the research. So I am Lea Sistonen, I am the chair of the fellowship committee and the fellowship committee evaluates your application. So this video provides you guidance to present your proposal in the best possible way. Always read the guidelines very carefully and pay attention especially to the international mobility requirements. Ensure that you always complete all the sections of the form. Your application is assessed in a three-stage process. The first stage relies heavily on your CV and on the summary of your research project. At this stage, we are particularly interested in the topic of your PhD and how your research has advanced your field. You have the opportunity to list all your publications later in the application form. As you can imagine, the panel members are not experts of your field of research. So in both your summary at this stage and the longer explanation later, please write as if you're explaining to a life scientist who is not an expert in your particular field of research. If you pass this first stage, you will be interviewed by an expert of your specific field of research. To make our task more easy, please try to explain sufficiently the significance and the novelty of your research proposal in the summary. The summary is an essential part of your proposal. It should include a short explanation of your proposed research project, what you hope to achieve in the two years of your fellowship, your experimental techniques and approaches, and most important, possible outcomes of your work. Later in the form, you will be asked to complete a more detailed explanation of your project. We will use this for the final the third stage of the evaluation. The interviewer will also assess the more detailed proposal. The proposal has to be written by you because it is assessed by your life scientist who is not expert in your particular research field. So remember to list two or three seminal papers where you are the first or joint first author. But don't worry if you have fewer papers. Please remember your proposal should be different from your PhD, experimentally, but also of the research system. We are looking for openness of new ideas and challenges, so a true departure of your previous work. You also need to show why you have chosen the proposed host lab, including evidence that the host lab will provide an excellent fit for you in terms of training in new techniques, and of course has a world-leading expertise in your research topic. So we all know that not all experiments work out as planned, so please provide also plan B. And finally, take your time to complete and check the application properly. Please don't try to rush it at the last minute. And, and good, good luck! luck.